Hello everyone, on this beautiful day, still a little bit chilly, but uh, I'm at home at the moment. I haven't done any videos lately because I injured myself a couple of weeks ago, but I thought what I would do is, I, I noticed online that there isn't many, well, there's only a couple of videos out that actually show you how to make an access onto a soil stack. Now a soil stack, every property's got at least one. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through it with you. I'm just going to plant you down. set this one up in the garden what I'm going to do I'm going to drill into it and I'm going to put an excess onto it which is one of these now uh, there are some videos online but they don't really explain how to fit them and what you need so First of all, what you're going to need, obviously, is one of these, but you'll need a 54mm hole cutter. This one here is bi-metal, so it will cut through virtually anything really. Now, you can buy a, a set, a complete set. It comes with a diamond, uh, I think it's a, a, not a diamond tip, but it's, uh, it's, it's supposed to look like make the hole all nice and neat and everything. This one makes a little bit of a mess, but the thing is the kit, if you want the whole kit of 10 of these, you get, um, the the hole cutter diamond core uh, an allen key and a deburrer now if you've already got these bits and you just want these there's a lot of price difference but I'll explain it a bit later now what I'm going to do first of all is make sure I'm going to use my Milwaukee today. Cut through, it makes a little bit of a mess, but the deburr sorts everything out. So, you, you, your soil stack, if you're going to do this yourself, or if you, you're clean, doing drains and you've only just started out or something, now. If your soil stack is full, be prepared for a gush. But obviously this one isn't, and this this access is ideal. It it's uh, reusable, and it, it's big enough to take uh, a, uh, a camera, inspection camera, jetting hoses with nozzles of different various sizes. But also, what you can do is, if you're doing it yourself as a DIY, you could uh, maybe even clear the low blockage with a hose pipe. It depends. Um, if it can't be done with a hose pipe and you've tried and tried and tried, then you may as well call out somebody like me. And clear it for you. But what we do, first of all, I'm going to drill a hole. Right? Um, another thing is, if you've got a blockage and you're not sure how high it is, you can use a screwdriver or something like that 
and you tap it, you listen for it to be in hollow, and when it starts, when you get a, a thud further down, you'll know whereabouts your blockage is, roughly. But, I'm just going to do it at this height. It's a drill set on two. It does get, it does sort of grab pretty quick. So, let's see if I can put that whole way there. Right, easy to work with. Alright, that's the hole. Next, your deburrer. Now, you can, with the with the kit, they, these can break, they're a blade, they can break, but I'll put a link in the description for all these bits, but this one that I have has 10 blades, and they're, they're pretty sharp, now this will clean it up in the inside and the outside, so first of all we're going to put it on there and it, it rotates. finger around, make sure there's nothing sharp, tidy it up, <coughs> you've got a nice neat little hole there, no sharp bits and it's tidy. Right, what they say about these is there's two companies that I know of that make these and the, the one, there's one in Australia, it begins with an F, and I can't remember the name of it, but I will put it in the title anyway. And, and this one is made by a company called S1E. It's a UK, but UK based company. Um, I'm not promoting this by any way, uh, by the way, I'm just, uh, I'm just doing a, a quick video on it. Now, all you do, just loosen that off, so sort of look, half a turn, loosen it off. And what this does, when you tighten this up, once it's in the hole, when you tighten it up, this is rubber all the way around. The whole thing is rubber that set this part here. This part is plastic. And what it does, when you tighten it up, it pulls that in, squashes the rubber, and creates a seal. So first of all, that's loose. And what it is, this is concaved here, so it fits to the side, to the, the roundness of the pipe. So it sits, butts right up to that. And if you look at the size of that, you can actually use that on down pipes as well as soil stacks. And then you take your running key, make sure it's nice and tight, nice and snug, give it a little push in the centre. Right. Right. Now, right, 
this loose, it's biting, give it, just rotate it one turn, one full turn. And that has got a hole in it. If you find over time it starts to leak, just give it another half a turn. And the rubber will seal it. There's no need to put any mastic or anything like that around it. That is that won't be coming off. Now they say that it'll hold up to one bar of pressure. The one bar I don't know. Is it the? I think a, a mains is about three bar. The mains water into your property is about three bar. But really, I think in theory, if you gave it another turn, another quarter of a turn, that's probably going to hold a couple of bar. And all it is is just the water. Yeah. If you ever need to. Re we uh, remove it, turn it, right, until it's loose. Don't undo it all the way because the, they say the the, fit, the plastic fitting at the back could fall off and drop into your into your um, soil, um, into your drain, um, and create problems. And take it off, just pop it off. If you ever need to check to make sure that um, your soil stack's not, um, not blocked, then this is ideal. Ideal tool. And to be honest, uh, they're probably around about three, three fifty to four pound each. So the other thing is, if you take that out, right, that even if you push on that hard, that hasn't come out. But you might have one that is loose. So it's always best to just just loosen it off and then um, pop it off but you can use them on plastic most properties are plastic you know um, the old cast ones that that will go through a cast oh, I've done it so I know that, that goes through cast okay um, not much more to say about it really but I, I think it's a, a great little tool oh there is another thing is your deburring tool if you're using it on a cast pipe don't use this because you end up breaking it so on a cast one just get yourself a little little round file and basically just rub it around until you've got it all nice and smooth you go inside outside but rub it all around with the file until everything's nice and smooth and then pop it pop it on but the let's say the company that does this one they've got their website there s1e.co.uk and this is a, a pipe doctor product now if you were to buy this uh, buy the set complete set it's 106 pound but with that set you get 10 of these you get your your hole cutter a 6 mil allen key and a deburrer but as I say, if you've got already got the hole cutters, your six mil Allen key, deburrer, file, that sort of thing, then you can buy these a set of ten for about thirty-five pound plus delivery. But I shall put a link in the description anyway. And 
that is that is it really that is it that goes on there Just put it in the hole there apply a bit of pressure make sure it's nice and snug Finger tight first, and then just give it probably about one and a half turns, and that is a great little tool, and it's reusable. That's what I like about it. You can go to a property that's already had one of these installed, and you just pop it off. If you've got a blockage, then you pop that off be prepared to get wet so make sure you're wearing waterproofs and wellies and goggles as well so hope you find that useful and as I say I'm sorry that I haven't made any videos uh, lately uh, I got injured a couple of weeks ago I hurt my back but I'm pottering around at the moment because I like keeping mobile but that is all you need and it's great for DIYers or uh, people who are just starting out who, who, who are unfamiliar with this sort of thing and uh, I hope it, it helps what I would like also to say is um, on my on my channel um, I do have uh, a donation page, a, do, a, yeah, a donation page, and there's a link on there on the main on the main channel itself, and and these donations, yeah, they're coming in, and when when I start to feel a bit better, I'll um, I'll show what the donations are actually paid for. Is to it's to help people who are unable to sort the things out like this themselves um, and basically just go around and do some do some work for them because um, yeah, everything's going up at the moment but anyway please keep uh, donating keep subscribing and uh, I hope to be with you pretty soon anyway thank you for watching and take care please subscribe like share and I'll catch you on the next video